What up, what up, world? This is your homeboy, Wordplay TJ, and I'm back with another video for you. This time around, I'm going to talk about how you can fix when your song is under the wrong artist on Apple Music. Stay tuned. All right, before we get into it, I'd like to say thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel. Hit that notification bell if you're new to this channel and give it a thumbs up if you like this video. If you don't know who I am, my name is Wordplay TJ. I'm a hip hop artist from Little Rock, Arkansas, and I make music for the underdog. I started this channel because other independent musicians don't have all the information they need, and so I wanted to give it to you. All right, so now that that's out of the way, let's check out Apple Music and figure out just how you can take when your song's on another profile and it shouldn't be and get that switched over. We're gonna jump on over to my computer and check it out. All right, so here we are on Apple Music for Artist, and um, I'm signed into my account right now, but if you wanna get to the link to contact Apple Music for Artist, you go to artist.apple.com slash contact. This link will be down in the description below. All right, so in the last video, I talked about how my brother, Prophet, had some music under a different artist ID on Spotify. And since then, um, that's been updated and has been changed. And so I wanna go ahead and show you how to do that same thing on Apple Music. I don't think it's required for you to sign up for Apple Music for artists, but just in case you do, I have a link down in the description for you to check that out and uh, get that set up for yourself. So now that we're here on the contact form for Apple Music for Artists, um, it's gonna ask me for some contact information, my name, my Apple ID, and um, they wanna know the artist name. So I'll go ahead and put Profit. So they wanna know the artist page URL. And so in order to get that URL for the artist page, we have to look on iTunes, or you could search on Google just for your name and, and find that URL just the same. I'm gonna go to iTunes and I'm gonna pull up Profit. What I'm looking for is one of his recent releases so I can click on his link. All right, so here we go. Here's his main profile. Um, I can see that there are several of his releases that are already out and um, I can go ahead and go up here to his name. I can right click that and I can hit copy link. That's the link that you want to put into this form. So go ahead and do that. Then you wanna choose a help topic. So we drop down in this menu and uh, we'll say artist page issues. Now in this case for my brother, I've already taken care of this a long time ago. Um, I went ahead and separated his artist ID from other artists named Profit. Um, the other thing that I recommend and that I talked about in previous videos is that if you have a name that's similar to anybody else or if somebody comes about and they take your name and I've answered this question several times in the comments that if you have a similar name as somebody else, go ahead and think about trademarking that name. You should think about trademarking your name no matter what um, because especially if it's unique, you should trademark your name because you wanna be protected from anybody else taking that name. And if anybody uses your name and your brand, then you can say, hey, can you stop doing this? Send them a cease and desist and go ahead and take care of the legal things you need to do in order to get what you deserve. But for this specific example, my brother doesn't really have this problem, so I'm gonna simulate what would happen. Okay, so right over here, there are several different profits that are listed under hip hop and rap. I know that maybe a couple of these profiles um, are featured artists on other songs and not my brother. Okay, so a lot of these singles on here are actually songs that aren't really featuring my brother. Uh, the only one that's here is this song called Classic. And so I wanna see if I can get this song Classic moved under my brother's profile. So it says it needs the URL of the album to be added or removed. So I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna right click Classic, I'm gonna copy link, and then I'll paste it in there. The album name is Classic, and then I'll give a description for what's actually happening. All right, so in the message I say, hello, I'm emailing you on behalf of Prophet. He's an artist that was formerly on my record label, and we're currently collaborating on his marketing efforts. 
I see that a song that he's featured on, Classic, is under an artist ID of another prophet. Is it possible for the song to be moved to the artist ID listed above? Thank you. And then I'll hit submit. So that form was successfully submitted, but there's still going to be an issue in the future as more releases come out from him. The thing that I recommend and I recommend to all artists is like I said, go ahead and get your name trademarked. Um, that way you're protected from anybody else using your name and you have the legal right to go and say, hey, can you take this down or change your name? I know trademarks can be expensive, but if you have to save up for it, do whatever you have to do in order to protect your name and, and make that happen. Outside of that, the only way to prevent that is to pick a unique name in the first place. I have a whole video of that and I'll link it down in the description. Other than that, that's it. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section. I appreciate you watching this video. And until next time, it's your homeboy Wordplay TJ. Peace. All right, so I know you came to watch this channel just to see this video, just to get this problem solved. What I do urge you to do is subscribe to this channel right over there. And then there's more videos on this page right now.